Hi everyone. So sorry about earlier's uh, very interrupted live feed. My tea time did not go as planned today, so I'm going to do a full brow tutorial so that you have it from start to finish without any interruptions. So I'll dive right in. Um, I'll start with um, brow growth from a um, uh, physical and topical place. Like I mentioned in my post yesterday, there's a couple ways to get growth is one, talk very nicely, give it some a pep talk and some good encouragement. Um, from a verbal standpoint, support it with some physical. Um, uh, so the emotional can line up with the physical. So a lot of times you can do like um, a pre-done growth serum and they come like so. And these I like to concentrate in the specific areas that I really need help in. And you just do really light strokes, but get it down to the skin and let it soak in so that it's dry. So that's a really concentrated, effective way of getting it in like in very specific areas. Um, if that's all like you're really looking for, if you really want to get all over growth and just like get super uh, bushy with it, <laughs> um, you can do uh, a more thick sort of like overall approach. I'm just using this for um, demonstration purposes, but you just want to make a little growth serum of yourself for yourself. Um, Jamaican castor oil, a carrier oil. I prefer jojoba, almonds, or grapeseed. Um, that's very important because castor oil is too thick to really penetrate into the follicle. So you need the carrier. Uh, another really interesting ingredient, if you're making it at home yourself, is fenugreek seed. You can grind that up, make it into a paste, mix it up with your oil uh, mixture, and then put it into a little bottle. You can do a dropper, but I actually, you can just order, I'm just going to take one drop. I like to have the spoolie, you can take a clean spoolie and dip in. A clean spoolie each time don't make it dirty unless it's already part of the packaging but if you're gonna manually do it you can see my hands are a little shiny my hands are clean and just massage the area you really want to make sure that you're getting into the follicle and getting to the base of the hairs go both directions don't just lightly like tap it in you really want to massage that into the skin into the follicle opening or it's not going to change the cell you want to really manually stimulate and get that physical going so that you can really encourage the growth I'm using very generous pressure here. I try not to pull because I don't want my 11s to get bad. So be conscious of that. But I like to smooth it out and then get back in. Get under that hair growth. Really get in there. And you can see I'm a little bit shiny, a little bit oily. Now, I do have my... Um, brows microbladed, but it doesn't mean that I'm not still trying to grow my brows out in those spots that I really want to get full in. In terms of other strategies to help get growth, obviously putting your tweezer away, stepping away from the 10x mirror, um, just letting them go. But I'll walk you through in this time or even not during a pandemic um, beyond just having like growth serums, this is how you can maintain your brows and get really good um, at feeling good with your brows at home or long stretches of time where you can't see someone like your brow expert. Um, okay, so I'll start from the beginning. Make sure all your tools are clean. Make sure you're cleaning your brushes always. And I'll show you how to fill in your brows. And I'm standing in solidar solidarity with you guys. I have not done my brows. Just because I have a wax pot does not mean that I'm doing them. So I have growth that I don't love. However, I'm going to do my brows as if I do love them. So normally I use this guy. This is the Pony Brow Magic. 
and uh, it's a universal color. You can press a little bit harder to make it a bit uh, darker, or you can go pretty light-handed. It is like a universal brown. If you like a cooler feel, there are other options. We can always talk about that, but this is the one that I'm using today. I prefer brow pencil. I just had a quick thought. I'm gonna re rewind for just a second. When you do your brow serums and all of that, do them in the nighttime, put them by your toothbrush uh, every night, make it part of your skin rituals before you go to bed. Okay, finishing that thought. Now we can come back to filling the brows in. So I just ran out of this, literally no more. So I'm gonna just use an old one um, for demonstration purposes. Demonstration purposes. So um, a lot of people like to do um, their brows starting in the middle, on, in the inside. I do not. I advocate starting at your arch point. Your arch point, for me, is here. I'm going to mark it so you can see it. And you can see my microblading, but you'll still see the difference between my brows when we're done. Your brows should start if you come into the inside here and go straight up. So that inside corner of your nose, right here and right here. You can mark it if you want. A lot of pros you'll see in their videos do this. I do not mark anybody, but it can help you if you're trying to map your brow out until you get used to it. So I advocate when you do your brows, start at your arch point, not on the inside corner. This will change the game for you when doing your brows and filling your brows in. So here we go. I'm going to start and do little hair strokes coming down. Starting at the arch point, following the hair growth, very light handed. You do not need to go ham on this. Um, doesn't matter how bold you want to go. You do not need to go hard. I am barely touching the skin. I'm going to follow. See what happens when you go too hard? And I like to say, find the areas that you're really trying to grow in and focus on those. So always start at your arches first. Then come in to the inside and you're going to follow the hair direction again, but you're going to now connect the dots. Starting up and then you're going to go diagonal and connect the dots to where you started. Now I need this one a little bit underneath as well, but not too much because I have excess hair there and I'm trying to lift this brow to match this one. Now that looks very boxy. In order to combat that, you brush through. And again, get to the root and comb through. Don't just lightly comb. You wanna like get into the base and follow the hair direction usually, but diagonal, and then comes down through the tail. Now, I'm done with my markers. That's filled in. Go to the other side. Now I don't need to hide as much here, and I already filled in this tail, so I'm gonna come in here. I need this one to be a little bit lower because it tends to sit high. Connecting the dots. Straight up through the front, diagonal, 
until you meet the arch that you already felt uh, filled in. Grab your clean spoolie, comb through. Your markers are gone. So you can see that one seems to sit higher than the other. That means I just filled it in a little bit too much, but you can play with that. I need a little bit more depth here, so I'm gonna come in through the bottom this way, following sideways. And I'm going so light, I barely feel it. And again, comb through. I have not trimmed and you can see that much more even. Now, you see the difference that they're a lot more uh, uniform. So now with, now that the colored part is done, I like to fill in, you can always do a concealer highlighter duo or take your separate products and um, go from there. This is what I like to use. Conceal just a tiny bit. the hairs that I'm not loving right now. And then I love using the highlighter end. Give it a little pop on top. You see that? A little tent to your arch. Come up and down. And with this, use a flat tip brush this isn't totally flat, but I cannot find mine right now because I moved and I have no idea where half my stuff is. And then underneath, come in and draw your line. This is the only time I say come in from the front. Take your flat brush, go down. Work downwards into your lid. Get a nice clean line going underneath. It will camouflage your growth and take away and hide and deflect you see how highlighty that is in that light, huh? So a highlighty. It's an official term. But you can see the brightness. It also gives you lift. I always talk about that sort of Botox effect. This brush isn't my best. So I'll finish. But you can really see that it gave me a little bit cleaner of a line, especially in the front. I have no other makeup on, but it gave me a lot more definition to the brow. The last step that you can do, which I love, is a good brow gel. I love the Brow Zebra by Pony. This one's cool because it's a tiny little brush. And again, get it at the root so it really sticks and gives you that like glossy shine and hold. Doing this left-handed, guys. Some good hold there. You can see where I need to grow in, but you get a really good finish, and that's how I like to do brows. I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions, you can let me know. If you like using a pot, you can do that and you just wanna use an angled brush, but the same technique applies. Start at your arch, move down, arch, move down, and then come in and connect the dots. For symmetry, ultimate symmetry, you want to divide that brow into category, into quarters, parallel lines as much as possible with a gradual taper at your tails. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. DM me with any questions and I'll talk to you soon.